when the queen came by, you know, on the corner, he just stepped backwards, you know, took about a half step backwards and uh, raised it up in his right hand and then, uh, you know, held it police marksman style and fired about four or five shots. Then what happened? Then there was, you know, like I said, about three of us that came in from his right and behind, you know, and got him over the railing into the street itself. And then the constables came and took him. Had you noticed him earlier? I'd seen him before, you know, all morning long. He'd been there longer than I had. Was I, there anything unusual about him? Just that he was alone, you know, by himself and didn't speak to anybody. How, did you, how would you describe him? Tall and about 6'1 and slender. With short brown hair and, you know, with the Charles and Diana button on the lapel of his coat. Today's incident involved a replica gun incapable of firing live rounds. They're realistic, cheap and easily obtainable. This one could be bought in a shop less than a quarter of a mile from Horse Guards Parade, quite legally and for just a few pounds. Questions have been asked before about banning replica firearms and as Buckingham Palace tonight confirmed that today's incident would be taken into account for future royal events, those questions are being asked again.